reactors are to provide the greatest possible protection against fallout radiation, then any radioactive contamination brought into them must be kept to a minimum. Shelter occupants arriving after the fallout has started, or returning from outside missions, should be brushed and monitored thoroughly before entering the shelter area. The monitoring is done in a reception area, somewhere between the building's outer entrance and the shelter area proper. This area must be sufficiently shielded so that the background radiation is low enough to allow the use of the CDV-700 survey meter. The beta shield on the probe of the CDV-700 must be open and it should be protected from contamination with a thin plastic covering. The headphone should be worn because it gives a faster response than the meter and because it lets the monitor watch the movements of the probe. Before monitoring begins, a check should be made of the background radiation. Monitoring routine must provide for a systematic coverage of the body. Notice that the monitor holds the probe about two inches from the individual. Be careful not to touch him with it. Careful attention should be given to areas where contamination is likely to be found. The probe is moved down one side of the head, to the shoulder, down the arm, on down to the hand, with special attention to the hand and wrist. The increase in frequency of the clicks above background indicates contamination in this area. The probe is then moved up the underside of the arm, down the side of the body, and the leg. Pay particular attention to the lower leg and shoes, since these are the most likely areas to be contaminated. From the shoe, the probe goes back up to the head and down the other side of the body, following exactly the same procedure. Then the back of the body, the shoulders down to the seat, which should be checked carefully since this is another area likely to have come in contact with radioactive contamination. Then the front of the body is monitored in a similar manner. The final stage of the monitoring is on the inside of the legs, starting at one foot and working up the leg, then back down the other leg. The monitoring process, the route followed around the body, should be consistent for each monitor. Only with a systematic procedure can he be sure that all parts of the body are monitored. The contaminated area should be decontaminated consistent with established personnel decontamination procedures.